All right, guys, I'm here at Everly Skate Park today, AKA Australian Technology Park, AKA Tech Park. This is a street plaza style skate park built by Convict Skate Parks. And once again, you know, Convict make the best skate parks. It's got an urban street style design and it incorporates some brick quarter pipes, raw industrial steel for the pole jams, rails, and all the copings. It's got pavers and granite ledges here. Weirdly, this skate park was approved late 2018 and it was already open and finished built by May 2019. So by the time it was approved, it was already open within a year which is crazy you never hear about that but it's only 15 minutes from Sydney CBD and it's only a five minute drive to Waterloo Skate Park so if you guys know Sydney skateboarding you know where Waterloo Skate Park is so yeah five minutes from there so it's like right in between all of the skate culture in Sydney here so this skate park is actually quite small but they've jam-packed a whole lot of obstacles in here and the good thing about this park is there's so many unique obstacles here that I'm going to show you right now in the skate park tour so usually I'll do the review from the top of the park but the Sun is right behind me so I need to face that way so down the bottom here you've got a quarter pipe which is actually on a multi-level because I've got the gutter there which is actually a long as slappy curb which I'm going to be hitting that for sure today. There's some banks which is like real actual bricks. Brick quarter pipe. Show them the quarter pipe Jeff. Brick quarter pipe sounds sick too. Oh you got it too. <laughs> just showing off for you guys but yeah brick quarter pipe like what Jeff did is sick because there's a manual pad with a little ledge there and you can grind over the top of it a little hump that has a slappy curve that goes up and over too which is also sick so that's the first granite ledge over there I'm gonna move over there and show you guys yeah nice long granite ledge with the pavers in the bottom there's a volcano hip type of thing that goes actually all the way around so there's a bit of transition here so actually yeah there's only three so there's this volcano there's that quarter pipe there and then there's a quarter pipe at the back so there's only three bits of transition besides the brick banks and stuff and the rest of it's just or really street orientated. On the other side of this volcano you've got the pole jam and then I guess this is their version of a flat rail but it's like a wall ride. I'll get on this side. So it's a wall ride on one side and then it's flat on the other side and then it's got a kink so you can go up and down so that'll be really fun to skate and then the top of the skate park you've got like a two stair section so the brick bank goes all the way along the side there's a little kicker or a roll in here this is a nice little granite ledge slash manual pad here that goes off the two stair so that's really cool the kink rail is one of my favorite things the kink isn't that harsh though it's pretty chill so it just feels like a long flat bar you can't really feel the kink the long ledge here just waxing up but my favorite part is on this side you have to clear the whole side over the garden that's what I'll be skating the most today so that is the whole skate park like I said it's really quite small but they've packed a lot of things in and it flows really well so it's really cold and windy today so I'm gonna get straight into warming up try and get a clip on everything for you guys me and Jeff are gonna shred again and then I'll get into the positives and the negatives so let's go
over here. <laughs> The biggest positive of this park has to be the architecture, the design, and just the vibes there. It doesn't actually feel like it's an Australian skate park. It feels like some futuristic Japanese skate park or something. They've got the big curved building there, which is the Commonwealth building, and then just the way that's designed, all of the pavers, all of the tiles, granite ledges, and the brick banks. It's just nothing like any other skate park in Sydney, so it's so sick. All the obstacles there are really unique. The way that they've put everything in there, the pole jams, the kink rails, the humps, and all the slappy curves and stuff. So there's so much unique variety there. So the park does have lights but I've heard that they turn off at like 8 p.m. which in summer the sun isn't even setting by 8 p.m. so by the time you get there the lights are turning off by the time like the sun setting so you don't really get to skate there at night but that's because there's a lot of apartments on that main road right there so it's gonna create too much noise for the residents there which I can see that but still sucks for the locals that want to skate there at night there's a water bubbler here at the bottom of the skate park at the back of that quarter pipe right there and there's lots of bins on the side over there too this park has heaps of shade since it's in between all of the trees and the big commonwealth building there plus all of these tree planters are kind of situated in between the skate park which creates like some cool aesthetics as well so it creates a bit of shade but then also makes the park look sick as well negatives on the other side of the skate park being pretty new and smooth it's so slippery when you're on those pavers and the tiles like that part is so slippery jeff was having trouble doing these slip tricks there because it would just whip out and on that last back tail that he just did he was landing that back tail down the little hubba and it was just slipping out when he was riding straight so it's so slippery there along with that it's nestled in amongst all of these trees so all the little tree nuts and leaves and branches are falling all over the park and you're just getting constant chalky so keep that in mind take a broom or something because you're gonna run into them and you're gonna get hurt so keep an eye out for that there's no toilets at the skate park which is weird i don't know if there's some around the corner at the shopping center or what's going on but i haven't found any toilets that are close and i don't know anyone that knows any toilets that are close so you gotta hold it or you gotta go in the bush so yeah that sucks but the parking on the road is only two hour parking so if you go over that you have risk of getting a fine and all of us had to park so far away from the skate park and ride to the park because people from the apartments park there or people that work in the commonwealth building park there so it really sucks to park there and then the other massive negative of the park in winter i've gone there in the morning and the ground is soaking wet not from rain but because of the cold dew that comes out in the morning and then the sun doesn't really hit the skate park because it's in between the building and the trees so the skate park doesn't really dry throughout the day so that really sucks it stays wet all day so it's only really like a spring and summer skate park other than that though the park is really fun it's got everything that i like to skate lots of rails lots of ledges and it is five minutes from Waterloo Skate Park. Sydney Park's close and Sydenham's not far from that either. So you're right up in there, like I said, right in the middle of all the Sydney skateboarding culture right there. So if you like this video, check out my most recent skate park review here at Belrose Skate Park at the Northern Beaches. Let me know which skate park you guys want me to review next and I will see you in the next one. Peace. <laughs>